Okay guys, so today we're gonna do the second problem of our series and we're gonna go through a really nice problem called maximum depth of a binary tree. So let's take a look at the problem and then we're gonna discuss the approach I took to solve this problem. So given a binary tree, find its maximum depth. The maximum depth is the number of nodes along the longest path from the root node down to the farthest leaf node. Oh, this, this sounds pretty complicated, right? Not that much, so I'll, take a, I'll, I'll walk you guys through the problem. Just a caveat, this problem requires something called recursion. If you are not familiar with recursion, I, I, I recommend you to go to this website called CodingBat. CodingBat, CodingBat.com, where you can practice some recursion problems in Python, for example, actually in Java, but it's okay. So recursion one, go through these problems and then you have a pretty good idea of what recursion is. It's a little bit complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes less complicated. It's still complicated. But it's a very powerful tool that you can solve a lot of problems. So if you're going to go for an interview, I really recommend you to go through recursion and actually understand it. So the, what is a tree? First, I'll just give an overview of what a tree is. A tree is a data structure where you have nodes and each circle of these are nodes that are connected to each other in a tree-like structure. So trees, usually when they're presented in problems and interview questions, they're, they have a left node and a right node. Each node has a left and a right node. And usually, uh, just delete this, usually you have a pointer, you have a reference to the root node root root node and th through this reference you'll be able to access any other element in the tree how because a node is represented as you guys can see here by uh by this class this is the, the tree node class represents one node so you have val which will be the value of that node. So here we don't have, in this picture, we don't have any numbers. But if we had, for example, three, root.val would give us three. Root.left would give us the left node. And root.right would give us the right node. So this is a way of accessing the value of the node, the left node, and the right node. So let's go through the problem. In these kinds of problems where you know, usually when you talk about trees and solving problems with trees, usually there's some sort of recursion. It should ring a bell in your mind that you have to use recursion. And when I use recursion usually, I usually take the same approach. I look at the simplest cases and then I work my way up to what I'm actually trying to solve. So let's start with the scenario of a tree that is empty. We have no nodes at all. And our root, our root pointer is pointing to that. What would be the maximum depth of that tree? It would be zero, right? Because you have no tree at all. And then in our pseudocode, we write, we write this situation. So if root is no, or if root is non-existent, return zero, which is how high the tree is. It's zero because it doesn't exist, right? The second scenario, the second simple scenario is if we had just one node, just the circle. And also we have root pointing to it. What is the height of this tree? This tree actually has height of one, maximum height of one, because it's the only element. And you have, and by the way, if you don't know what height is, so this is height uh, one. Uh, let me just say one thing. 
So, yeah, so height would be one, two, three, and so on. So it's how many levels the tree have. So how many levels does this tree have? It has one level. So, uh, and how do we verify? So we have to return a one, but how are we going to verify that it's only one node? So remember I said the node has a left property and a right property? In this scenario, in this scenario here, this node is pointing to what? To nothing and nothing. So whenever you have a, we have a node that is pointing to the left, to no nodes at all, and to the right, to no nodes at all, we return one, because it's exactly this scenario. So else if left node equals no and right node equals no, return one. Uh, since this case is already being taken care of, we won't have a scenario where it's going to give us a no pointer exception when it's trying to access a no object and it doesn't exist, right? Because if, if the root is pointing to something no like here, it's just going to return zero. So we've pretty much taken care of the two simple situations. Now I want you guys to actually understand the recursion. So let's suppose this is our tree. Let's walk through the recursion with me. So you go to, you start here at this node. Then, you're, then you have, you know you have height one. Now you go down to the second level. That's when the problem arises. How are we going to know which one we're going to take? Well, we know the maximum height comes from this one, but how do we represent this through programming? Actually, just think about it a little bit. You want the, to look at this side of the tree and this side of the tree, and you want to take the one with the maximum amount of heights, of levels, right? And that's kind of what we do here. It will be a little bit confusing, but I'll walk through you guys. So we start at the root, and then we look at the maximum of the left node and the right node. I'll walk through the recursion with you guys. So let's suppose we start at the root one. So it's gonna uh, it's going to call this part of the function here. So it's going to be 1 plus maximum left node and right node. It's going to keep calling the recursion function. Uh, I'm going to show you guys in the function. But this will return 1 and this will return 2. And then you guys, through a, a, a function called max, you guys will return the maximum of these two sides of the tree and it's gonna be one plus two right because the maximum height of this versus this is two I'm gonna do through coding it might be a little bit easier so let's do it again so again if root equals none you return zero because like I said you have nothing you have nothing to return the other scenario is if, else if, root.left equals none and root.right equals none, return one, which is that scenario we talk about, right? And now the actual hard, let's say hard, where the recursion happens. So else return one plus maximum of max depth self but max that roots but that's left self roots the right so what this is doing is calling the function again calling the function again so let's walk through with this tree so this tree will do one plus max that root left max depth root right so this is then this part will be called by the function it will be like as if this was a tree by itself then it's gonna start again with only that node but that node 
will return 1. Why? Because it's in this scenario here. It's left node is none and root node is none. So this will be 1. This will be 1. What about the right side? So this will come here. The left node will be 0, none, but it's going to keep going down the recursion stack. And then here is it's going to be 0. Here's going to be none. So it's going to return 1, it's going to return 1, and then it's going to return 2. So this will be 2, this will be 1, and it's going to return the maximum, which is 2. Let's submit. And I accept it. For those of you guys who are confused about this problem, it's pretty normal. Probably it's because you're not quite understanding recursion and I can't recommend enough the website coding bad. It walks through the basics of recursion such as Factorio and Fibonacci that are easier examples and then you can work your way up to a problem like this. But I think this is a pretty elegant problem that illustrates how trees work. So make sure you understand this for your job interview. So thanks again for tuning in my channel and leave a thumbs up and leave your comments. Thank you.